Hi, Russ here, and uh, I just realized that in my templates pack I don't have a checklist template, so I'm actually setting one up here now, and uh, just thought I'd use this opportunity just to show you like how we can use find and replace to kind of automate and create um, create things a little bit quicker. Now, here's my, I've, I've done four levels of checklist, okay, it's like a bulleted list, but whereas with the bullets, we'll get uh, just the, the indent and the spacing. With the checklist, we're gonna get put in some tabs and things like that as well. Now, I've already set up the, the styles themselves here, okay? So we've got, check, there's checklist one, there's checklist two, don't want to end Pilcrow, there's checklist three, and let me just turn the show high characters on there so you can see what's going on. And here's checklist four, okay? Now these mirror the, the actual bullet set up within the template as well. So it, just if you had bullets and then checklists and this kind of thing, okay? Now what I want to do, because each of these has actually got a leader, if you look up here on the ruler, you can see that we've got this right tab. And what I want to do is I want to place a little checkbox at the end of each of these lines, but I don't want to kind of do it indiv individually, okay? Now if I click on the developer tab here, you can't see the developer tab, click on customize ribbon, and then three quarters of the way down here, you'll see developer, okay? Just put a tick in there. And then up on the controls here, then you'll see we've got the insert a content control. And this is my little checkbox, okay? So what I wanna do is I just wanna insert that there like that, and I wanna select it by clicking on the, the handle. And I wanna copy it, control C. Now I can kind of, I can delete that now, and then what I can do is I can click on, or sorry, select all of the items in the checklist. And if I come up to home, I can, in editing here, I can click on replace. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a, a paragraph mark. Now, if I, let me just clear these. If you, if you, sorry, if I, this is what you're likely to see. You're likely to see this. If you click on more, then you click on special. What you're looking for is a paragraph mark is this end mark here, this pilcro, okay? And so that's what we're gonna search for. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with, well, we wanna tab, okay? Because we wanna tab across because that will then give us the dotted leader. So we're gonna replace it with a paragraph mark. Then we're gonna do special again, and we're gonna replace it with the clipboard contents because we wanna put in our check mark. And then we wanna put the paragraph mark back. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So let me just go you, walk you through this. We're going, we're looking for this paragraph mark, which is the Pilcro, and then we're gonna replace that paragraph mark with first a tab, then the contents of the clipboard, which is the check mark that I've just copied here, and then we're gonna put a, a, a Pilcro back. So what we'll do is we'll just do find net, or we'll just do replace. Okay, so it's finding it, and now we're gonna replace. Okay, and that's what it's doing. So now we know that this works, all we need to do is do replace all, and then we made 16 replacements. Do you want to continue searching from the beginning? Well, no, I don't, because I, don't, I only want to apply this to my selection, okay? And that's how you can do a quick find and replace to set up your document as you want. Now, if I turn off the show hide characters, close that, and I've now got my checklist like that okay all right i picked these they picked these two up but no worries there and that's how you do it all right thanks